Friday night funkin'. The Friday night funkin'. Friday night funkin'. Friday night funkin'. I've been getting freaky on a Friday night yet. Hey guys, Steve Gibbs here, and welcome to another video. Today I figured out that I want to give myself a challenge and make it into a video. I really want to try more variety of content on my channel so it's not boring for me because I don't really like making only tutorials, you know, I just want to be creative a little bit. Well, we are going to be making Friday Night Funkin' in two days. Uh, now I really like this game, uh, it's got a great art style, really fun gameplay and uh, it's got so good music, like, have you heard the beats guys? Have you heard the beats? Uh, but no, let's not waste time and uh, let's go into the video. So uh, what do we have to do to replicate this game? Well, uh, it's a music based video game, it's played with arrows on a keyboard and you are a character that goes beep beep boop bop, skidoop bop and you basically fight enemies in uh, B-Box battles, yeah. So first we have to make a character. I think it's gonna be easy, right guys? Like, uh, I use the program a lot, so uh, yeah, there should be no problems. So then I went to Google and searched for forums from 2015 that uh, asked the same question. Fortunately enough, I got the answers. So I turned the game on again and... Even more errors. So I read a manual about uh, the game maker programming language. And uh, yeah, I figured it out. Uh, I'm just kidding, I still didn't figure it out. Well, at this point I was pretty frustrated because uh, it simple character didn't work and uh, it gave me a lot of errors. I tried programming a lot of different things. Uh, yeah. No errors. <laughs> did I do it? I did it, guys. I, I fixed the errors. Hell yeah. So now we have a stickman that just bobs its head in the beat. Which is pretty cool because, uh, yeah, he's on beat and, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Right? The next thing I needed was some arrows because you need arrows to hit. I opened the Game Maker's uh, sprite editor and started making some really basic arrows. You can see now you can move the character with WASD, which is cool. Then I added some arrows that were just pointing to the right and following the beat, as you can see. So every beat, every drum hit, uh, an arrow would pop up. And if you look closely, the score goes up as well, if you hit the arrow. You could see I was getting there, but uh, not quite yet. I still needed some fixes. Now, in this part of the project, I actually had to use math and a calculator, because I had to calculate uh, the distance between each note, so I can delay between them correctly, so it's on beat. It was really annoying, but uh, in the end, it looked much better, thanks to the math. So right here you can see that uh, it actually works now, and the score works. I don't know why the down key didn't work and every time I hit it, it missed. But I didn't figure a solution, so it stayed that way. Now it just needs to get graphically better, so it looks nice. So I added some background to the arrows and now you can recognize them by color. Now it was finally time for the Bibu Bob boy to come to life. I got all of the assets from Google Images or the wiki for Friday Night Funkin' and yeah, I just edited them so it doesn't have the background uh, and it matches the beat. The boyfriend's animations were all in one GIF so I had to separate them and remove the backgrounds and resize them so they match. It took a long time but uh, in the end at least we had a working boyfriend that looked like the real one. Here you can see the complete player and his animations. 
sometimes he stretches out but that's just because the gif was a different size so uh, I wasn't able to really resize it and also make it look nice as well. Now last but not least we have to make the background and the arrows look actually like the real ones. Now I made the arrows too big so I just fitted four of them on the screen. It doesn't look like the original game but it still works so I don't really care. When I was at it I also added the GF and uh, removed the background, extract the GIF, all of that stuff. In the end the girlfriend didn't look as good as the boyfriend, uh, she wasn't really on beat, I have no idea why. But uh, yeah, it didn't really look nice in the end, but it didn't look bad either. So I don't care. You see what I mean? Just, just why? So I kind of fixed it, so it looks kind of better. And here is the final product I made in two days. Now I know this isn't an exact copy of the game, but it's pretty close I think. I don't have full arrows, the enemy doesn't really sing, it's just, she's just there. But I don't really care, this was more of a just to have fun, be creative and try if I can actually make this game, you know. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything for this video. If you wanna play the game, it's in the description, it's on Game Jolt. I don't know why I would though, it's pretty trash. Also in the description you're gonna, you're gonna find KV Sprite, which made the music for Friday Night Funkin, which is pretty freaking awesome. I really recommend Friday Night Funkin, it's a lot of fun.